Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim on Nixus Gaming. We are here just outside of the exit to White Ridge Sanctum. And we got the Black Book last episode. Now we're going to take a break from Black Books. And we're going to work on some of the last remaining side quests in Tel Mithrin. Um, so the reason I haven't done these yet is because... Uh, sorry, words, yes. You can't get these unless you have high magic skills. For two of them, you need Conjuration 40, and for the other one, you need Destruction 40. So our Destruction is at 26, our Conjuration is at 21. So we're going to start this episode off with a little bit of power leveling. Um, so the easiest way to get Conjuration up is to take a Soul Trap spell, which I have in my left hand. And you just want to find a dead body to use it on. Oh, my controller is... It's doing the thing again. I don't understand why. Uh, but yeah, we need to find a dead body. And it's not like we uh, just cleared this whole dungeon. And there should be plenty of dead bodies in here. I'm not sure. It might have to be one that we killed. Let's see. Well, uh, that one resisted it, so that's... That's great. I don't really want to use it on the spiders either, because... I don't know if it'll work on those. There should be... There should be a dead bandit, like, right over here somewhere, right? Um, uh, Marilar, maybe? No, she resisted it. Maybe an uh, unnamed one somewhere? I know there were some bandits around here that I killed that were unnamed. There was like a whole room of them up here, wasn't there? Hold on, we'll find someone eventually. Not through here. Down here, maybe? No, this was a dead end. Where was the room of bandits? Through here? Yeah, through here. Here we go. Just a bunch of unnamed bandits. Did I miss? Why are they all resisting? Stop resisting. We also don't have... A terrible amount of magicka to do this, which is a little annoying. Uh, I'm not sure why they're all resisting, honestly. Maybe it has to be a lower level bandit? I think the bandit thug over there is the lowest one we can find in this area. Maybe I'll try using it on the spider. Why not? Now, even the spider resists it. I don't understand why they're all resisting. I might have to rethink this a little bit. Ah, so, funny thing. The unofficial Skyrim patch actually fixes this to where you can't just use Soul Trap on dead bodies to level conjuration which is a little disappointing but it does offer an alternative let's go back to Skyrim probably home to our house just anywhere where we can get our horse because Shadowmare Shadowmare is great to do anything with really Shadowmare is basically invincible. Even if you manage to kill Shadowmare, it'll just respawn in like three days. So, we find Shadowmere. Let's get indoors. And there we go. Now we just gotta keep using it constantly on Shadowmere. 
and we'll be leveling our conjuration. One thing that you might want to do too is just wait an hour every time you cast it. That way you regain all your magicka. Oh, there are enemies nearby. Also, why do I have my axe out? Oh, there's some wolves over here. They're fighting my horse. Uh, okay, just randomly run around in a circle. Why not? But yeah, basically, however many times you can cast the spell, you do that on Shadow Mirror, then you wait an hour, and then you get your Magicka back, and you wash, rinse, and repeat. Similarly, if we go find a destruction spell, I'll probably use Sparks. You can also just use that on Shadow Mirror. And that should be leveling our destruction up. Ideally. I might have to use a stronger destruction spell. Ah oh, yeah, that is leveling our destruction up. It did go up a bit. Basically, this is how I'm gonna level up my Destruction and Conjuration for now. I'll probably do Conjuration first, then Destruction. I might get a stronger Destruction spell so that I uh, do more damage. But yeah, I will rejoin you guys whenever I have 40 in each. Be right back. And we are back. So, um, I switched to using Lightning Bolt, which is an Apprentice level spell. But I didn't notice much difference in the XP I was getting from Sparks, so... Not sure about that. I did only get my destruction to 35, because it was taking a while. Uh, I know we need 40, but I believe... Every level... Hold on. I believe every level you can pay a trainer to level up a skill five times. So we're just going to do that for the last um, five levels of destruction. Do you need something? Before I leave here... Alright, let's see what you have. I do want to go ahead and store some of this uh, unique stuff back in this house so I don't have to carry it anywhere. Like Mirax stuff namely. Let's see. Yeah, those are the only weapons I have to store his. I think I have his armor too, though. Oh, I also have that Dragon Priest mask. And that looks like it. Alright, so... I actually don't know any, um... Any destruction trainers offhand, except for the one at the College of Winterhold. I believe it's Feralda. So let's head to the north there, and we'll talk to her about getting these last five levels. Um... I'm gonna assume she's in the Hall of Countenance. That's where all the teachers tend to stay. And there she is. And to think Mirabel questioned my allowing you into the college. Uh, train me. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. This might be the only time in both Skyrim and Oblivion you guys ever see me use a trainer. Only costs like 400 gold each, so... There we go. We're at Destruction 40 now. Until We're almost to a level up. Almost, but not quite. 
All right, now that we have the skills we need, about 10 minutes into the video, let's go see Neloth and see if he'll give us some of these other quests we need to do. There's three more side quests, other than the last black book, and then there's one miscellaneous quest. But to get that miscellaneous quest, we need to do one of his side quests first. While we're there, we'll go ahead and get the next Black Book quest, but I don't think we'll do that until next episode. My controller is still acting really wonky, and at this point, it's literally just lowly vibrating the entire time for no reason. Um, my controller might be going out on me. I don't know. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. I've actually done that, Neloth. I've done that, and uh, Olaf one I did that too. We both used the same trap. Go to Whiterun. Uh, I have a black book. Excellent. I'll just make a copy for myself. It's far too dangerous to carry the real book around. Of course you can handle yourself. Of course you can. Of course. Of course I can. I'm carrying like five of these. And we'll call the matter closed. All right, and we can just ask him again. Actually, he doesn't have the option. Uh, we'll just ask him about his research. Perhaps later. For now, I have a slightly more personal request. You see, I'm a collector. Of staffs, magical staffs, in particular those made by Azra Nightwilder. Through some divinations, I believe I've located one. If you retrieve it, I'll give you a staff of my own making. Nightwielder's creations don't really hold up in comparison to what can be made today, but they have a sentimental value for me. You understand? Uh, who was Azra Nightwielder? He was the original Shadow Mage. His advances in magic are legendary. Less well known is that he was also a pioneer in the field of enchanting staffs. Every staff of his that I have uncovered has led me to greater understanding. Today we would consider his techniques rudimentary, but the genius is still evident. Okay, well, I guess that's our next thing. Uh, it is a radiant quest, so it's going to send us somewhere random. Bloodlet Throne. That is back in Skyrim. We've been there before. Good day, friend. Keeping well? I think we've been there a couple times for Radiant Quests. Well, that should make it quick and easy. Don't gotta loot the place. Just gotta kill and get the staff. Alright, well, let's go do that. By the time we get back, he should be... He should be uh, reset so we can ask him about another black book, but... Like I said, that'll be next time. I'm more focused on these side quests. Bloodlet Throne, that's in the south. In the mountains. Right here. Yeah, see, it already has a cleared uh, thing on it. Ideally, we'll get a level up this episode. We're very close, so I think it's definitely possible. It's like right over there. I think I remember this dungeon. It's gonna go down into like an open room. And there's gonna be a barred door like right, yeah, right over in that side. That we come back from the end from. But of course that's still gonna be barred, so... Teach them what? Teach them what? Easy. Uh, come on, controller. Let me grab the lockpick. In case you guys are wondering, I am recording this right after the last episode where I was having a lot of trouble with my controller there, too. There's our level up. Let's 
go ahead and grab that. Um, I think we're going stamina again. Yeah, sure, let's do that. See if we can throw one more thing into archery. That's going to help a lot when we do the next black book. Alright, and let's just kind of push through this as fast as we can while still being sneaky about it. I need to be slow and sneaky to keep my damage up. Otherwise, I can't do sneak attack damage. B, B, thank you. Yeah, last episode it was just the uh, control stick that was being all wonky. I feel like this episode it's the entire controller. So definitely got to figure something out before I record another episode. It was perfectly fine the other day when I recorded. But now it's just, I don't know. It's messed up. No, no one's here. Still two dots. I don't see anyone over there, though. Oh, there's more than two dots. Probably coming to this room, if I had to guess. Maybe they're up there? Refilling on vampire dust, as if I needed more. Don't see them across the ledge there. This guy, they're... what? Uh, yeah, definitely one of these is, uh, fake. And he just kind of blew up the other one while he was at it. I think I remember there being a vampire Anybody there? down here somewhere, and I do hear two of them. Hello? Uh -huh. Where'd you come from? Oh, there's more. Easy. Uh, potions? I'm not in combat. Oh, it's the wolf. Dude, it's literally... It... Are you gonna make me unlock the cage and kill the wolf? Nice. Gotta love those kill shots, right? I'm just saying, that wolf could have lived. I didn't want that. That wolf 100% could have lived. But the game wouldn't let me.
All right, that's it for potions. Continuing on. I think we should be getting close to the end of this dungeon. I think. I think it's just through this icy passageway here. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it lets out into like a big arena with uh, spike traps. Or like spiky bars that release death hounds. Yep. The guy just sitting up top there. That is the boss. I've already scared off the boss. He's hiding. I, I think he went this way to hide. Where? Oh, he's invisible. He is hiding. Good job, Scale. Alright, I'm not interested in looting the uh, Death Hounds. They never have anything good. And how do I get up again? Oh, there's a chain here. Don't think there's any more enemies. Should be free just to run through here. We'll go ahead and take all this boss loot. And now we just gotta bring this back to Neloth. Uh, side quest wise from Neloth, after this we have one more where he's gonna send us to a dungeon. But then there's just two. Two other, like, tiny little quests that we can pretty much instantly do. So, ideally, we can get it all knocked out this episode. Granted, he doesn't send us to a long dungeon. For the other dungeon run. And knowing my luck, he probably will. What? Oh. One of the Death Hounds followed us all the way to Solstheim. That's actually kind of funny. Okay, tell Mithrin. <laughs> Up we go. Good day, friend. Keeping well? I've pried open another of Hambeus Mora's secrets. Oh, he's ready to give us the other Black Book quest. Um, where is it? Yes, Hameus Mora is devious. But then, so am I. Now, it's only a rumor of a whisper of a conjecture. But I think this is the place. Now hurry. That book might contain the final secrets of Xarxes, for all we know. Alright, I've got Azra's staff. You didn't have to speak a word. I could sense it the moment you came in. You've proven your worth, and I'm as good as my word. Take this staff from my personal collection. I think you'll find it useful. Alright, we got a Staff of the Storm at Trinach. Now, he never gives me no, the next thing until I leave and come back. What now? I don't understand why. Uh, real quick. If you think it'll help. Serana, I need you to carry that, that, probably just drop that somewhere, you can have that, and a lot of this armor that's weighing me down. Uh, I guess the robes too, not the circlet, but oh well. It's not like I'll be grabbing all this back from you eventually, to sell.
Alright, and I don't like her wearing helmets. It's like a weird thing to me. I don't think she looks as good. So I never give her anything that she can equip on her head. Alright. Oh, I almost just jumped over the fence just all the way down, which I would have definitely died doing. Okay, we're just gonna leave, come back in, and he should give us another research quest. We're looking for either Wind and Sand, Telvanni Research, or Experimental Subject B. My new steward is acceptable. If only he made better tea. Hmm. I do have a new spell I'm working on. I hope to be able to conjure Ash Spawn. If I could get a sample of Ash from an Ash Spawn, that would be quite useful. Okay, this is Telvanni research, I believe. Well, you don't need to know the details. Just go harvest a sample. Of course, the creature will have to be dead first, but I trust that's something you can bring about. So literally all we got to do is go kill an ash spawn and get the um ash, which I don't think we have any ash. No. So we got to go get some. Good thing they are literally just all over the island, right? Uh, trying to think of a quick, easy place to get some off the bat. Let's try Fort Frostmoth. Uh, yep, there we go. Oh, there's two of them. I'm gonna grab this one close by. No sneak attacks here, sadly. Uh, extract ash. And then search, grab the rest. Uh, of course, there's like way more over here. So we can't just fast travel away. Can't be that easy, right? Oh, one of these guys is a reaver. What? There's a reaver here somewhere. Another spawn coming towards us. See one up on the tower. I have no idea where that reaver I just heard was. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not going to play the aim game with you. I'm just going to run up and kill you. Ha. Ah, that's funny. You suck. Okay. Hopefully that's all the enemies and I can fast travel back. Yep. Wisdom to you, friend. Turn this into Neloth so we can get the next one. He never sleeps. I don't know how he does it, but he never rests. I'm still waiting for that ash sample from an ash spawn. Yeah, I got it right here, dude. Chill out. Well done. There are some septums for your troubles. You come back in a day or two, I should have the spell worked out. You can buy it from Talvis. Okay, once again. I thought so. We gotta leave and come back in so he can give us another one. Kind of inconvenient, but oh well.
Hmm? All right, what research now? Can you? Of course you can. What took you so long to ask? I was literally just here, dude. Red Guard magic to the ash. I think the key concept I'm missing is recorded in Afasariat's book, Wind and Sand. I have some associates and correspondents who find things for me. One of them has a credible rumor on where this book might be. And I'd like you to find the truth of the matter. All right, we're book hunting. Where are we going? I think it said Dead Crone Rock, which is actually an outside zone. Right? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's the one by Helgen. Which might have like three hag ravens and maybe some some other witches by it, but it's all an outside zone, I'm pretty sure. So he gave us an easy one. It's either that or it's the one by Markarth, which might be a little bit of a dungeon. The one where we uh, got the Briar Heart from. It's the one by Markarth. I mean, we don't have to go through the first half. This is actually like a two-part dungeon. You go through Hagrot Redoubt and then to Dead Crone Rock. But we can just start here. Are the Briar Hearts still dead or are we going to refight those as well? They are not dead. So, I mean, not a super easy one to grab. I think I just hit Shadow Mirror. Not a super easy one, but not a difficult one either. That troll was healing sort of faster than we could kill it. Why are only me and Shadowmere fighting here? I mean, I appreciate Shadowmere just tanking all the damage. But why aren't Scalelang and Serana helping? Oh, Serana... They're, they're right there. They're literally not doing anything. They're literally just standing there and watching. Like, this would go way faster if they'd help a little bit. <clears throat> Is it because I'm crouching? They think we're supposed to try and stay hidden? I don't know. Shadow Mirror has... I figured if maybe they did respawn, I could just stealth my way into the next section. But that was not... Can you stop wiggling back and forth? My god. It's not the, uh... Oh. Okay, they're finally helping. Finally. I don't... don't guys, stop going way down there. No, I don't want to fight every Forsworn in the area. Guys. Guys. They know that if they fight him, and if they kill him, then I'm gonna want to come down and loot him. Please be the last one. The only thing that'll make this worth it is if that is an ultimate healing potion on the table over there. Is it? It's extreme healing. Not worth it.
Or let's hurry up and get to the next section before before we have to fight more of these guys. Where did that Briarheart go? There he is. Alright, up we go to Dead Crone Rock. Who's there? Really? Like an inch to the side? You just moved, bro. Stop moving like an inch. I Why am I so terrible at this? You don't even know I'm here. That one still missed. I don't think I got a single shot off on that guy. Why am I terrible? How do you not see me, dude? God, I don't understand the stealth in this game. In the slightest. Yeah, you have no idea I'm here. I don't even remember, like, the correct way through this dungeon. I know there was a barred door over there. Or a gate, I should say. Uh, here we go. That probably opens that up. Hey, buddy. You're right in my face, dude. He is actually doing some good damage to me, too. He's a wiggly boy. Back and forth. Oh, Scale, move out of the way. He's down. Let me through. Don't heal. Serana, can you get your storm at Trinok and you out of the way, please? Okay, so that was a Briar Heart. They're usually at the end of a dungeon. I think this is the end. There's like three Hag Ravens up here, and that's it. I don't see any Hag Ravens. Okay. Easy. And there's Wind and Sands. Can I actually read that before I give it to him? Okay, just in case it was a skill book, it's not. Good. Let's go turn this in. Then we have, like, one more thing we gotta get from him.
All right, where is he? There he is. Keeping well. Mirak was a. Uh, didn't mean to ask him about the black books. Uh, I got the book right where he said it'd be. Perhaps this particular source was worth more than I thought he was. Pity. In any case, this is truly amazing. I think I can adapt this into a sort of whirlwind vortex energy. Yes, yes. I'll write it out. And you can pick up a copy from Talvis in a few days. In the meantime, take this for helping me. So it's probably worth noting, every time you do a research quest for him, he usually adds some kind of spell or something you can buy from Talvis. And I would be more interested in checking that if I actually use spells. And I don't, so... Maybe after archery. Maybe. Just become a master at everything, you know? Things have been much calmer since you disposed of Ildari. Well, I believe I've discovered a new form of silence. Some philosophers postulate seven orders of silence, but I believe there's an eighth. If you allow me, I'd like to envelop you in the eighth form to study the mental effects. What do you say? Eight forms of silence. Um, sure, go for it, buddy. Excellent. If this works, I'll prepare a version that you can cast yourself, if you ever wish to inflict, uh, study silence. Oh, Great name, buddy. Ever since you healed the tower, Master Melo has been experimenting on you. Um, I can't see. Well, that's unexpected. I presume you are blind. I'm you losing stamina rapidly. Eyes. Master Nelos, what have you done to him? It sounds like something's eating me. It's nothing that what the hell? Fixed. The spell, that is. I think I can fix the spell. It should only take a couple more years. But first I need some data. Try wiggling them. Oh. No, don't shake your fist. Wiggle the tentacle things where your eyes used to be. I think I'm going to be sick. <sighs> From the way they are waving about, I'm assuming they aren't under your control. And I see now that your tongue is also... Well, it's uh, probably best if I don't say. Uh, don't bother trying to scream, though. It looks like it's beginning to wear off. Is it over yet? Does he have eyes again? Mm, I your eyes appear to, to be completely to back to normal. Interesting. I, I don't know what just happened to me. But I think he owes me for that. I suppose I do. It's too bad it wore off so quickly, though. Unfortunately, you don't appear to be suffering from any side effects. At the moment. Anyway, take this for your time. And that was the and last, like, quest for, thing we can do for him. The only other thing that we can do here in Telmithrin is get this last black book. And I say last... Because it's the last one we can get here. There is one more black book that we'll find on Solstheim after this, though. Uh, it wants us to go to Benkongarike up here. So that's where we'll be going next time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye bye